Hello guys, and welcome back to another cold episode. On today's episode, we are back with game three of the DreamHack 2020 Asia tournament for Warcraft 3. I still don't know what DreamHack it is. I'm bad. I'm sorry. This is Grand Finals for the Asia side with Lin versus Fly100 in Orc Mirror match, and Lin is up 2-0 in game three and uh the last game was very interesting if you didn't watch it go watch it uh an actually insane game but here we are game three concealed hill uh, yeah i don't want to spoil game two just go watch it but here we go it, it was on twisted meadow is a very wonky game Concealed Hill should be a little bit more standard. I would imagine it's a little bit more standard. Um, seeing as how the last two games weren't as standard. Uh, but yeah, here we go. Let's see what openings we get from Lin and Fly. Uh, we're going to speed it up until we see any deviations here. Uh, the quick burrows, yeah, pretty stock standard. Nothing, nothing too special happening. Uh, the barracks comes down for both of them. Okay, it looks like we're going standard this time. Uh, Blade Master, standard openings, the barracks coming down at the same time. Everything pretty much as expected. I don't think we're going to see a farce here. Yep, we got a Blade Master. Yep, there's the second Blade Master. So we're actually going to get Blade Masters this time. Uh, and no cheesy. I don't think any cheesy fire lords um, or, or random farseers or, or anything like that. It's going to be Blade Master, Shadow Hunter, most likely. The shop comes down on both sides. Yeah, I think the shop's a little bit faster for Lin. Uh, but we got the Grunt or the Peon Scout that's going to die to the Blade Master and give him a little bit more experience. Whoop, I accidentally made it faster than slower uh so there we go the creeping starting for both sides uh actually lynn already off to the races he got his voodoo lounge up later but his blade master seemed to have come out faster and he was able to start creeping faster due to the peon that uh fly ended up killing but he didn't actually end up creeping the entire camp so uh, with that being said, though, he is going to come down here, and I think he's going to see what's up with Fly. Yeah, his blade... No, okay, he didn't actually end up seeing it. He just attacked... He Watch his... Lin, are you okay? What was going on there? <laughs> All right, he's going to try and take this... Uh, Fly is going to try and take this turtle camp, and gets level 2 and gets slippers of agility and gloves of haste. And did, I think, I think Lin didn't get that steal. I think that's the first steal he's gone for that he hasn't gotten. Did he get that one? Oh, he got that one. He definitely got that one. Okay. <laughs> so, Circle of Nobility and Ring of, wow, that Ring of Protection is going to be actually pretty good given the amount of damage that he could have taken um, prior or without that. But Blade Master, they're just gonna start harassing on opposite sides of the map. Oh, okay, the other Blade Master is going to get himself dust. I would have expected the Circlet of Nobility, but I guess not getting getting dust to prevent Lin from getting more steals. What's do What's going on over here? Okay, the quick tech from Lin. Uh, actually, both of them went for a really fast tech. Uh, not the fastest, but still pretty fast. Uh, so they're they're hoping to get into that. Spirit, or Spirit Hunter, Shadow Hunter pretty quickly here. But the dust, I like the dust from Fly. Lin has been harassing the creep camps that Fly has been trying to take a lot and been able to get a lot of really good steals. But here we go, Fly is going for a really greedy red camp. Uh, going for the Ogre Lord here. If Fly... 
Yeah, okay, it looks like Lin's not even gonna discover this, so he gets a- Oh, he does, he does discover it, but he is on the opposite side of the map. It doesn't matter. He is able to get the Cadgar's Pipe of Insight. That is a really good item. Getting that Brilliance Aura, the added mana regeneration. Lin just wasn't aware of what was going on, and Fly gets away with a really greedy and really good creep. A uh, lot of experience, great item for his second hero, which is coming out right now. The Shadow Hunter, I think the Shadow Hunter is, yeah, the Shadow Hunter is coming out a little bit quicker for Lin, so that will be a slight advantage there. However, it is almost level three for this Blade Master, about two and a half for this Blade Master for, from Fly. So I think overall, uh, I, I think Fly is a little happier, a little bit happier. Okay, the burrows are pelting away at this Blade Master, but he's really trying to prevent this Torrent Totem from going up. He wants to be ahead when it comes to tech. Right now, unharassed, hasn't even had to deal with anything. We've got two grunts over here harassing the take of the creep, but overall, it just doesn't matter. You got a Blade Master and three grunts. Pretty nice. He got another circlet with the gloves of haste. Uh, now he's going to start harassing the Shadow Hunter. I would imagine, and yeah, both sides, uh, this Blade Master is just denying all of these buildings, not allowing the Torrent Totem to go up, there's another one going up in the back, the, the Bestiary took a lot of damage, it's going to be pretty weak, pretty easy to take out when, uh, when Lin decides to go for it. Here we go, Shadow Hunter now starting to creep, but level 3 Blade Master is coming in, he's definitely going to get this creep, 100%, yeah, no, he didn't, he missed it! I thought he got it. Okay. So, a little bit of experience to the Shadow Hunter. That is nice, but not that great. Lin going for a counter harass here. He's only level 1, though. The difference between a level 1 and a level 3 is massive. So, overall, I, Fly is definitely in the lead here. I mean, the armies are the same, the techs are very similar. Uh, a, a little bit less. Well, okay. I guess a lot of the army is coming out faster for Lin. Uh, there's no walker even being trained right now. Is there even one on... There's not even one on the map. So, the walker t comes out quite a bit quicker for Lin, which have been crucial in his previous two victories, being able to use that spirit link. The, the, uh, the raider, however, I think came out a lot faster for Fly, uh, but he's not going to have ensnare until later. So, there, there's that. Oh, okay, yeah, the Blade Master just gonna jump on the Shadow Hunter, make him use that healing wave, uh, make him use up as much mana as he can, even the Spirit Walker having to use the Spirit Link there. Still a level one Blade Master. It's, it's, it's insane. I mean, Shadow Hunter is level one there as well. He did get the Cadbar, Cadgar's Pipe of Insight there. Uh, but still, level one for the Shadow Hunter, whereas level two over here for Lin. Um, but level 1 to level 3 when it comes to Blade Masters for Lin and Fly, respectively. Oh, the peons are being pulled again for the Spirit Link. I think he wants to go... Lin wants to go for a, an attack here. However, this army from from Fly looks pretty good. Three grunts, two raiders, and a walker. Not the greatest, uh, but still, I would say it's arguably better than this, just due to the fact that... Uh, the Blade Master can come in and he's level 3 again. That discrepancy isn't something to just laugh at. Okay, level 2, it is much better now. The level 2 is much more important for the Shadow Hunter. However, the Shadow Hunter for Fly does get it. Uh, so there is that. Uh, it's, it's, it's basically the same army. Uh, one more raider versus... <laughs> one more raider and one less walker versus basically the same thing uh so here we go the engagement begins scroll of speed to get this raider down as quickly as possible the heal wave to try and keep it alive but it does go down even with the spirit link and the heal wave but kodo comes out for both sides the peons are in here as well for the spirit link blade masters are trying their best to kill off all of these raiders two raiders go down for fly whereas the one raider is still alive oh, okay Fly does get the one raider, so that is pretty nice. Did this Kodo eat? Okay. 
both kodos did eat a grunt there so that is pretty nice but i think another grunt even went down for fly even though he's got the better heroes he's just not in the right position another grunt goes down these peons they came too late they were they weren't all spirit linked oh the the extra walker mattered a, quite a bit he's got three walkers now to the one of fly lin is looking uh, quite a bit ahead right now at this moment. What is the supply? 43 to uh, 50. Okay. 43 to 50. Again, yeah. Fly down a little bit in supply. He's still got the hero levels, though. Uh, but, I mean, the Shadow Hunters get. Okay. That's a lot of damage onto the Blade Master. He's got to wind walk him away. Uses the Spirit Link as well. Oh, he realizes that this is... Uh, Fly realizes that's just an illusion from Lin. Yeah, we've got the Wand of Illusion there. That Ring of Protection, I think, has come quite in handy. It prevents the Blade Master from being targeted, really. So that's... Uh, that's pretty nice. This illusion is just being annoying. It's kind of funny. There's two... Did I see that right? No, okay. There's two walkers now for fly here as well as three raiders versus the two raiders three walkers uh, i think i like having the more walkers more mana for the distant chance as well as for the spirit links here we go second engagement this kodo beast doesn't have anything in his belly whereas this one still has the grunt this kodo is going down that would be huge damage uh to the army but the grunt or the raider goes down from four fly uh, this Blade Master dealing a lot of damage. Actually, on both sides, th these Blade Masters are dealing quite a bit of damage. And the Grunt goes down. The Raider goes down. Level three Shadow Hunter. That's quite good. That could be level three or level two Hex or level two uh, Healing Wave. That yeah, that Raider was dead to the Ensnare. Gonna start creeping up once again from Fly. That's pretty nice. Pretty nice. All right, the last one of Illusion, probably just to be used as a scout. I'm trying to get Blade Master level 3 here for Lin. What's going on over here for Fly? He did end up creeping that camp. Uh, what item did he get? Uh, there's a potion of invulnerability on his Blade Master, which is actually really nice. And then he's got the Scroll of Healing. I think he may have sold the item. Because uh, I think... No, 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 no. He got the Ring of Protection plus 4. That is huge. This Blade Master is now incredibly tanky. Uh, and a lot of the problem that we saw in that previous fight was that he was getting focused and wasn't able to deal a lot of that damage, whereas the Blade Master for Lin was able to do that thanks to the Ring of Protection. But now you've got the matching Ring of Protection and a Robe of the Magi plus 6 from this camp. That's immensely powerful. Once again, another phenomenal item for the Shadow Hunter. Uh, for Fly, that's pretty good. Got the mana potion here on the Shadow Hunter of Lin. Not great. He did get the Scroll of the Beast, which is pretty good. Both of them are creeping the red spots, the uh, Fountains of Health. That's a little greedy from Fly, but all in all, uh, didn't end up mattering because Lin wanted to go and do the same thing. Now Lin knows that he's on the opposite side of the map thanks to that Peon Scout, and he can go for this freely. And what did he get? Sobi Mask. That's also a really good mana item for the Shadow Hunter. These Shadow Hunters are going to be healing a ton in these fights. And we've got the free heals from the Fountain of Health. So that's pretty good. This Blade Master is just looking around, trying to see where Lin even is. Getting more levels onto his Shadow Hunter here. Trying his best to. Oh, oh. Decides to split the experience with the. Uh, with the Blade Master there, kind of interesting. I would have expected that to just go on to the Shadow Hunter, trying to get him to level four for the extra hex and for the extra healing, or the extra healing. I don't know whether it's hex level two or healing level two. But the expansion is being crept here for Lin, whereas the observatory is being crept for uh, <sighs> Fly. Sorry. Shadow Hunter level 4, there you go. Hex level 2, healing level 2. Level 4, meanwhile, for the Blade Master that was previously level 1. It was level 1 to 3 for the Blade Masters, and now they're both they're both level 4. Uh, however, we also got the level 4 Shadow Hunter 4 fly. Uh, quite interesting. Overall, these armies, 5 walkers. 5 walkers, 3 raiders, and the 2 kodos versus 3 kodos, only 2 walkers. 
interesting fly really not prioritizing those walkers nearly as heavily as Lin. And I think that's not the right decision. In those previous two games that we saw, the walkers came in quite handy. And I think in this one as well, it's going to be quite important to get rid of that spirit link and to be able to nuke something down. There goes the disenchant. This raider's going down. He's trying to spirit link it. He's trying to heal it up, trying to just keep it alive. But, uh, oh, there goes the hex down on Juby, the blade master. Grunt going down. The raider did end up going down. But all in all, it's very difficult to target these blade masters. Yeah, you want to hex them, but all in all, they're still going to do a lot of damage. There goes the scroll of the beast, but it immediately gets disenchanted. The heal winning wave comes out from both sides, trying to heal things up, trying to re enchant everything with that uh, spirit link, keeping everything alive. Those healing waves are coming out from everything. Uh, both sides have tons of healing. Both sides have mana potions. Both sides have a lot of mana regeneration. And it looks like Fly is pushing back Lin just a little. Uh, the Ring of Regeneration, I didn't see that was picked up. So that's going to allow a lot of regeneration outside of the fight. But in it, it's not going to matter all that much. Juby is... Or sorry, Mikasa is going down. The Blade Master is... Uh, oh, wait! It wasn't Hex Level 2. It was Serpent Ward from the side of Fly, wanting that piercing damage, taking out a Kodo Beast after getting ensnared. That is really good. He's building a forward shop. I like this position from Fly, looking much better than those previous two games. Yes, the, the amount of Spirit Walkers didn't matter. Uh, five to two, I guess it doesn't matter. The extra mana is nice, but when you have Khadgar's Gem of, uh, gem of Insight, Gem Pipe of Insight, it just doesn't matter. Oh, okay. That shop's going down. It, it was a little wishful if... I, he should have stayed around and, and tried to get it up uh, if he wanted it to actually go up instead of retreating. But three Kodos. Do they all have something? One of them does. Only the one has something. So he is giving vision of where... Uh, Fly is giving vision to Lin of where his army is. But overall... Uh, oh, the mana potion was used f on the side of Lin for his Shadow Hunter. This is a really tanky Blade Master. Not as durable in fights. Oh, especially with that greater potion of healing. The Blade Masters find each other. What? It did okay. Lin gets the scroll of healing and gets out. Did. No. Okay. So, Fly didn't actually end up getting anything. He's gonna. Okay. Lin's gonna come over here and heal up for free. Oh, here comes the Blade Master. He spots the army. Doesn't want to try and snipe anything. Again, Blade Master is just using to scout where the army is located. Uh, all in all, three Kodos, three Walkers. I think with the Khadgar, uh, with the Brilliance Aura, just having three Walkers is quite nice. And having that extra Kodo Beast, as well as potentially another thing, uh, another unit, is going to be quite nice. Serpent Wards coming down, trying to start this fight. He knew that Lin was over there healing and targeting the Blade Master. The Ensnare on the Blade Master, the Ensnare on the Kodo. He's trying to take out this Kodo. <clears throat> okay, here comes all of the Spirit Links trying to keep the everything alive. This Spirit Walker is going down pretty fast. Uh, the Serpent Wards are also going down. There are no Serpent Wards currently in this fight. Whereas I think Lin has the extra level in either his Hex or his Healing Wave. That's dealing a lot of damage. The Speed Scroll comes down, immediately gets disenchanted on most of that army. But some of it's still able to reposition quite effectively. The Kodo with the Raider in it is... Oh, is it going to stay alive? It's going to stay alive. It's going to go back to the Fountain of Health. As the fight continues, Lin is... Uh, he ate another? Did he eat another? Oh, he did. Yeah, okay. There goes another raider going, and the Kodo Beast without anything in it goes down. So that was poor targeting uh, from Fly. But, oh, oh my gosh, I didn't even see that. The Hex came down on the Shadow Hunter. The Shadow Hunter goes down from the side of Fly, and that's going to be a lot less healing. We still have the Sobi Mask, which is a, going to regenerate a lot of mana. But, oh, okay, hold on. Okay, both sides lose the Shadow Hunter. But I think Lin has just more army at this point. He was able to target things down more and disenchant more from the extra spirit walkers that he had. I, I Oh, no. This is going downhill for Fly. Oh, no, no, no. Hold on. It's pretty close. 
No, there are too many raiders with the ensnares, with the grunts still around. The peon around just a tank. He saved so many units. Look at all of these units that he saved from the fight. Oh, and the blade master from Fly is trying to heal up. But there's so much still for Lin. How much supply? 44 to 29. Quite a supply lead there for Lin. Very, very different game this time, but I think it's still going to go to Lin. Are you kidding me? Yeah, trying to take out this burrow, trying to supply block him, but guess what? He's got quite a few more burrows. He's still got up to 60 supply available. This spirit walker is just wandering over. Uh, he did end up re getting the shadow hunter, I think, from the tavern. So he's got Shadow Hunter in this fight, but all in all, it's quite a heavy supply lead for Lin. Yeah, the Spirit Walker's trying his best. He gets off the Spirit Link, but it doesn't matter. I don't. Oh no! It's. I think it's just the two heroes. I think it's the two heroes and the Serpent Wards versus the army of Lin. <clears throat> it's even hero level parity. The Raiders goes down. That's nice. Can we get level five from this side of Fly? Yeah, level five. The healing potion does go down for Fly. Once again, 200 crit. But it doesn't matter because it's spirit linked and he's got himself the ring of protection. Okay, healing wave coming down. These heroes do a lot of damage. Oh, there's a Garunt. I didn't even notice there was a Garunt. This Koto Beast. Oh, the Koto Beast goes down. Oh my gosh. Fly is putting up quite a fight, but I don't think it's going to matter. There goes down the last Garunt. Is there anything else? Another Raider's coming across the map. Oh, level 6 comes in for Lin first on the Blade Master. Oh, no. Juby's going to get away. He did end up getting quite a few more kills thanks to these Serpent Wards. They do quite a bit of damage. But he's still not quite level 6. Like one, two more kills is all he needs. He ended up selling something. I Both, both bases have been mined out at this point. He did end up getting himself the... The Shadow Hunter buys some more items. He knows this is the last fight. He's got to go for it. But he get Oh, Lin gets to the Fountain of Health. Oh, no. The Hex comes down. That's it. There goes the Blade Master. He can't get the Blade Master back. And there's the GG from Fly. 3 0 for Lin in this series. Quite impressive. That was quite impressive from Lin. I, I don't even know what to say. Just straight up dominance uh, in every game. Even the one that I thought Fly was ahead in game three. He was doing quite well. He took a really good fight uh, and, and ended up pushing back Lin. But then he didn't really press his advantage. He didn't really try to keep him off of that health fountain. And Lin was able to just heal up and it didn't matter. Crazy series. Uh, that last game was oh, quite fun. But that's going to be it. That was it. Grand finals for the DreamHack, I want to say qualifier, for the Asia bracket. Goes to Lin. Wow. 3-0 fashion as well. Anyway, that is going to be it for this episode. I hope that you guys did indeed enjoy. If you did, a like is very much so appreciated. And if you want to check out more content like this, as well as more replays like this, then just be sure to subscribe. Anyway, thank you guys so much for watching, and remember to always stay frosty. Bye-bye.